Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what the person that is on your mind when it comes to love does not want you to know currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. So feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what this person does not want you to know. We have tough beginning, intimate date. We also have the seven of wands in reverse. And we have the king of, I'm sorry, the knight of swords in reverse. All right, so when it comes to what this person does not want you to know, they actually want to fight for this connection, but they're worried about coming off as vulnerable. Okay, so this person is in some very childish energy right now. They want to give in. They want to let you know that they haven't given up on the two of you coming together or the two of you making things work, but they feel as though doing this will make them appear weak. So this person is definitely not thinking clearly with the Knight of Swords energy being in reverse. They're coming off as very impulsive, okay? They may also be very defensive or very reckless with their words. This person's very lost right now. They may also accuse you of things that are not true. Or they may come at you with some hurtful words if you don't see things their way. Their energy is a little aggressive right now. And I really don't like that. Because for some of you, they do want to spend some time with you. They want the two of you to get closer to one another. But the energy that they're in is very concerning. Because I feel like for some of you, if you were to spend time with this person, if something were to come up in regards to something that they've done to hurt you or in regards to what they've been doing in general. I feel as though this person is going to try and defend their actions, even though they're wrong. And for some of you, they don't even have a real defense, but they'll defend whatever it is that they've been saying or whatever it is that they've been doing. And when you don't change your opinion, I feel like they'll talk to you very recklessly. They may even... um get very aggressive toward you with this knight of swords in reverse i don't like that energy whatsoever for some of you this is a twin flame for others of you this person just feels as though you're their other half they're definitely regretting some things that they've done in the past because they want to come to you with this love offer but at the same time they feel as though you don't trust them anymore for some of you um i just see you being very skeptical of this person and for some of you, it's like they don't want you to believe the reality of things. It's like they want to change the way that you view things that they've done in the past, which is really, really weird energy. But like I said, they're going to defend their actions, even though they don't have a leg to stand on. All right. So, yeah, when it comes to this person, their mind is telling them to go for it when it comes to you. But when they come toward you, they will come with some dishonesty. So keep that in mind. I also feel as though they're going to come toward you with energy of, um, well, we both have done wrong in the connection. You've done this. That's why I did this. Or, you know, you did this and I did that. So two wrongs don't make a right. That's the type of energy they want to come toward you with. And then when you don't see things their way, that's when conflict can start. This person, for some reason, they think they can outsmart you with this page of swords being here. Oh, my goodness. I feel like this person can get very, very petty. With the Hierophant being here as well. See, something's telling this person to just go for it when it comes to the two of you having a connection or when it comes to them reconnecting with you. But I feel like this person also, it's weird because they have a certain way that their partner has to be 
or they want their partners to be a certain way, meaning they want a partner that's traditional. They want a partner that will conform to however they want their partner to be. But when it comes to them, they don't follow the rules, okay? They are very unconventional. They want to be able to do whatever they want to do, but they want you to conform to their requirements. Oh my goodness. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, this person, they don't want to take any accountability for the things that they've done in the past. And for some of you, even if you were to bring up things that um they've done wrong or if you were to catch them up in a lie they're gonna act like they don't know what you're talking about but in reality they know exactly where you're coming from they just pretend as though they don't be careful about this person trying to manipulate you on an emotional level and for some of you if they feel as though you don't see things their way they will say things intentionally to hurt your feelings and it's mainly because they feel as though you're getting over them. This person has caused some deep wounds within some of you. And I feel like a lot of you are in the energy of recovering. Some of you have actually already recovered. A lot of you are wanting something new. Some of you have already started in a new relationship. Okay. But regardless, this is someone that does not want you to recover from them mentally. I feel like that's why they keep popping up. Because for some of you, they're in and out. For others of you, even if they haven't popped up as of yet, they're wanting to. But yeah, just keep in mind that this is someone that needs a lot of healing. Things are not going to get anywhere between the two of you until this person realizes the role that they played in regards to where the two of you are now. Because this is someone that wants to point the finger at you. If you say something, they have a comeback. If you accuse them of something, they're going to accuse you of something. If you were to bring up a lie that you caught them up in, they'll try to bring up something that they caught you up in. So this is someone that just does not want to take accountability. And then when you call them on their crap, they get angry. <sighs> I don't know why this person is um so all over the place. Their energy is very, very chaotic. And I feel as though it's because deep down inside they feel very weak so it's almost like they're trying to overcompensate by being aggressive if that makes sense all right so let's see what else comes out give me more messages please Holy Spirit, in regards to this person what does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love what does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what else comes out. And for some of you, this person, they're, they're angry right now. And for some of you, the reason why they're angry is because they feel as though you've been spending time with someone else. For some of you, you are dating a new person. For others of you, you may just be focusing on yourself. Regardless, this person feels as though you have connected with someone else on an intimate level and it's driving them crazy with this Knight of Swords in reverse. This is like lunatic type of energy. Oh, all right. So... Holding on, it's at the bottom of the deck. So what they don't want you to know is that they're holding on to you. They're holding on to this connection. They want you to hold on to them. And it's mainly because they're obsessed with you. They don't want you to know that. So this person is obsessively holding on to this connection. They could be um, holding on to memories. For some of you, they're holding on energetically, which is why they keep popping up in your readings. Give me more. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have foolish and that card came out in reverse. So they don't want you to know that they feel like a fool. And see, that is why this person will try and defend their past actions, even though they don't have a leg to stand on. That's why they get so aggressive whenever you call them out on their crap. It's because they feel like a fool, but they don't want you to see them that way. They want you to see them as someone that has it together, someone that is very mature, someone that knows what they're doing. When in reality with the Knight of Swords in reverse, they don't know what they're doing. 
They're very chaotic. Very chaotic. Hmm. Give me more. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love? All right. So we have rushing in. So for some of you, they want to rush in toward you. Okay. They want to make their move. But they're afraid that they'll leave feeling shattered. So for some of you, they feel as though you won't take them up on their offer. And for others of you, they may feel as though they've done too much damage when it comes to your heart. But regardless, for some of you, they're going to come in toward you. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Also, when they do come in, be aware that this person's energy is very chaotic. It could be the smallest thing that you say that can make this person spaz out. And it really doesn't have anything to do with you. It's just that this person doesn't want to appear as a fool or they don't want to appear as the fool that they are. So their ego is very fragile right now. Very fragile. Give me another card. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have sex. All right. That fell out right on top of the Knight of Swords. So at the bottom of the deck with healing being here, for some of you, this person, they may want to have a sexual encounter with you. Now, if you have been intimate with this person at any point in time, they feel as though sex between the two of you is very healing for them. So... If you have been intimate with them, they feel as though you heal them through sex. Whenever they have sex with you, it makes them feel better, okay? Now, not all of you have had sex with this person. And if you haven't, just know that this person wants to have an intimate encounter with you. Hmm. Also, I feel like this person... Um, they, if you were to have an intimate encounter with them, they may do so aggressively, Okay, and what I mean by that is they may want to have like a rough sexual encounter. For some of you with that sex card falling out on top of the Knight of Swords in reverse, the thought of you being sexual with someone else infuriates this person. Oh my goodness. Give me one more card. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love? All right, so we have alone time. All right, that card came out crossing. So this person, they don't like being alone. They like to have people around them. And it's because when they're alone, they feel as though, how can I put this? This is someone that doesn't feel comfortable being alone because they're not comfortable with themselves. This is someone that's always looking to escape their reality and they try and do that through substances or by spending time with other people or by having people around them. So this is someone that's very imbalanced when it comes to their emotions and they try to cope by using other people or by using substances. They don't feel comfortable being alone. They're constantly trying to distract themselves from their reality. So that's a huge red flag because I feel as though whenever they're alone, they sit and think about things and then reality hits them and it makes them almost like go crazy within themselves. Their mind starts to wander. They start to feel like a fool. And so that's why they're always surrounding themselves with people or they're always under the influence. Is to escape their reality. They're telling me to get one more card. So give me one more. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love? Soulmate. So they feel as though you are their soulmate. Hmm. For some of you, they feel like you were a dream come true. That may sound a little corny, but that's how this person feels. But for some of you, this person's lustful behavior or a lifestyle that they were living or that they are living, it played a huge role in the disconnect between the two of you. So they still crave you. And it's mainly because they feel as though you are their soulmate. Wow. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care, be safe, 
Until next time, bye.